A former Savannah City clerk and Boston Marathon runner passed away late last year after a lengthy bout with cancer. But those closest to her have found a way to keep her memory and her love for running alive. Bob Berglund brings us the story in this special to KQ2. Beth Carr had run on these trails near Bartlett Park hundreds, heck, probably thousands of times. So it was only fitting that a Miles for Beth 5 and 10K held in her honor on Saturday would traverse these paths. <laughs> Beth may not have been here in body after losing a two and a half year battle to a rare form of cancer in December, but she was definitely here in spirit, in the hearts and minds of many of the participants, including 10K winner Elf Robertson, who traveled from Michigan for the run. Um, through my struggles, she's always supported me, and wow, this is just amazing to be here and get to meet her mom. When I was on that path, I felt every bit of her. Robertson got a medal, but it wasn't your typical race medal. You see, race participants instead were encouraged to pick out their own medal from a box of ones that Beth had earned during countless road races. And while Robertson may have won the race, this event wasn't about winning, at least in the traditional sense. Whether you were young or not so young, it wasn't about placing in your age group. It was about paying tribute to Beth, a woman who touched so many lives with her courage and positivity in the face of a terminal diagnosis. Beth, a standout high school and collegiate runner and 2019 Boston Marathon qualifier, inspired many people both in St. Joseph and throughout the country and world online through her Go Fight Win mantra and her approach to life. The virtual and in-person participants included her son Ben in his trademark fire engine red shirt and Beth's mom, Bev Grinke. I am just overwhelmed and that people have come from different states and people have come from St. Joe and it just is very touching. Beth Carr no longer runs on these or other trails, but she lives on in the memories of those who do.